The whole basis for today is getting people from the local community, so Abbots Langley, Bedmond, Leaves, and all of those local areas to come here and share their stories, their memories of Leaves and Country Park, and so that we can form an information archive for the future. I like to come to Leaves and Country Park because I just live over the road, so it's, it's, a, it's easy for me to get to. I don't have any memories of Leaves and Country Park, but I do remember Leaves and Hospital, where we used to come and play bingo once a week. Well, yeah, growing up here as a kid, we used to explore using this park. The uh, old building was abandoned at the time, boys will be boys. We used to sneak in there and have a look around the premises. So having a look at all these uh, stands here with information about it, I can relate to it. The activity I enjoyed the most today is probably the history walk. I participated in the interactive walking tour and I was kind of recruited as one of the actors to have a fun way of telling everyone about the history. The history side of things here, I didn't have a clue about that really. Obviously I knew from my partner's nan that she worked in the hospital here, which was quite lovely to know that. I learned about the history of Leaves and, and that the hospital was meant to get 1,500 but had over 2,000 people. What I've learnt today is what a big site it is and how many people were involved. The fact they all came from London, which I hadn't really realised. I already knew quite a lot about the history of Leavesden from studying it when I was doing my A-levels. I've learnt a bit more today, especially geographically, about where everything was in the park. Like, for example, the sports field was over there, the pub across the road where all the nurses went to go and drink. I've worked over here for over 30 years. Great memories, walking the residents here, we were very progressive and we worked to try to normalise their life. I grew up in the grounds of Leaveston Hospital in Country Park and I worked here as well. I did my nurse training here. My parents came to work at Leaveston Hospital in the 1960s. My father was a senior nurse at the hospital for many years. I've had a look at the stalls and the displays and, and it's amazing. I've learnt a lot more about the history of the airfield during the war, how the communities survived when the soldiers were over the front, and also the artefacts that are made by soldiers in the trenches from spent shells. The best artefact I've seen is probably the fire engine because it's not like the ones we have now much smaller and it didn't have a ladder on the back. There's a talk of a museum being built dedicated to it which is brilliant. For children to learn about the history of mental health and how far it's come and how far it's still got to go that would be really interesting and really beneficial. I do think it's important to share memories because we are our history and everybody's got a story to tell. I'm off to the cemetery now to find out where my husband's ancestor was buried. Uh, we need to make sure it carries on having days like this where it brings out the people that will show us what the history was. Things can be forgotten. We were talking about buildings that have been destroyed that should have been preserved because people didn't know their significance. Today is about what people did before, not just about what we do now.